Well, political tensions in the Free State are having a devastating impact on residents. At least 50 people in Tabanchu are accusing the Free State administration of reneging on its promise for free housing. And former Premier Ace Mahashule had pledged to give them free housing, but this had never happened. Now the current Premier, Mkoli Situkwana, is threatening to remove them from their current apartments, which they are occupying illegally. The families have lived in these apartment blocks for more than 10 years. They're now stuck and we have nowhere else to go. ENCA reporter Moloko Moloto is on the scene. Moloko, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Just give us a sense of what's happened now and especially uh, what is the fate of the uh, residents who now potentially stand to be evicted. Yes, uh, good afternoon, Cindy Mabi. This is about uh, the block of flats, but also standalone houses that uh, were previously owned by the erstwhile Buputatswana government. You would recall that uh, that uh, Buputatswana government during apartheid, uh, despite the fact that uh, it was headquartered 500 kilometers away in Mahiking, it uh, was uh, controlling this part of the free state in Tabanchu. And now there were buildings uh, during uh, the transition in 1994 into democracy. The, some of these buildings that my colleague Pesi Sibia is oh, showing you of, uh, were then transferred into the ownership of uh, the democratic government of uh, the free state. Now there were people who were staying there and others, of course, we understand, came to join a little bit later. The conundrum now is that in uh, 2013, on the 21st of uh, February, the former premier of the Free State, Ace Mahashule, during the delivery of his State of the Province address, made a commitment. I mean, I have the speech here. He said the residents of Tabanj who are staying in these houses and flats that were owned by the erstwhile government of Buputatswana, now owned by the Free State uh, Development uh, Cooperation will be given title deeds, meaning they will become new owners. And he was very clear that they will not have to pay a single cent. That was in February 2013. He remained premier until he vacated the position after he got elected as secretary general of the ANC in 2018. And he did not do what he had promised the people of uh, these residences. So he actually had said at that time that uh, that process will start uh, in April 2013. There was another premier, Sisin Tombela. Her government did not do what uh, the predecessor had promised. Now Mkoli Dukwana is the premier of the free state. His government, not him personally really, his government through the free state uh, cooperation development, um, which is uh, an entity of the provincial government which is owning these houses, has written a letter uh, threatening as, uh, to evict uh, the residents here, saying that they are here illegally and uh, they must leave. Let's hear from the residents themselves. I'm joined here now by uh, Mr. Machele. Thank you so much for your time. Where did the problem start, especially when the former Premier Isma Hashule had promised that you will own these houses? Okay, no, I can't even The uh, problem is that this year come me. I want to go to where by like a lot of mana mangolo di eviction, not threaten now no arrive to a and if mana bo seven days notice. You are within seven days, the mea be rich with legara and deflated in a taro natina. This a little black a rato. So Yaba Hera, a moon to a bluff and tenera copana lebo, Najra lobo, MEC, Lee HUD, which MEC and Tatim Tabomeco, Lee. Then Rako Panaradula Fatsi, then Wabusan, eh, Elaba wana meeting Wawana Lebo, Nawa Wapil. So essentially, upon receiving this eviction letters, you met with the MEC and his team, Tabo Megwe. What was the agreement in that meeting? Okay, the agreement was that a Hotobali meeting Omo, Otoko Panyang, a FDC Lee this year. A department. So, a department of this year. So, uh, uh, 
some of my fellow residents bale ba tsama ba ya mo ba kopana le bona den ba dula fatshe wa buisano then wa wa what to know really meeting among happy otamel between between us and the FDC whereby like relatable at the live DC rubber phone a rubber email a they did not respond all right fine I have seen that if it letter which instructs you to leave this particular the deadline has passed I think on the 14th of September what's the way forward are you going to leave are you going to defy no we are not going to leave actually what we are waiting for now is for is title deeds finish and lar so we are not going to entertain whatever uh, letters that are, are coming that will be coming again yeah. because of as we have if, uh, as we have read now ne, the state of the province address uh, the former premier stated very clear that but to baba ntse badula matlong a le difleteng tse tlamela ba fumane title deed okay you are holding on to that commitment or promise by former premier Ace Mahashule but i can tell you the people who are listening to us now are wondering whether you guys are paying rent who do you pay it to if the owner of the property is saying you are here illegally no actually we are not here illegally the fdc is the one who allowed us to be here do you have lease agreements do you pay rent no we don't have lease agreements do you pay rent no we don't pay rent why not no actually this uh, block of flats everything. I'm sure the bony picture is a thing and over So Rona, Rafter, Lucas, Ragama, Matra, Rega, everything. So FDC can maybe on a lane or a yard compensate because of the remarkable Limona, the building thinner. And you are saying you must uh, be given ownership of these things free of charge. Despite the fact that some of you clearly are employed, are working, would you not therefore get into an agreement of saying you are renting to buy? You just want these things for free? It is highly surprising because of uh, the former premier. has specified or no, so it's very clear. It's for free, whether you are working or not. Mm. Yeah. Let, let, let's speak then, Percy, if you can just focus on Megamona. You are also a resident, but you're not, you're not staying in any of the uh, flats. You have your own stand-alone house, which you are telling me that it was owned by that Wuputazwana uh, government. What is your situation and dilemma? Uh, my situation is that I'm still waiting for the title deeds that they promised us. There were some people I fought for title deeds since I just got out of the the title deed, but to my surprise, I was not given a title deed. And some of my people here who are not here like me today have the title deed. So none talk about the title deed. Do you know? Do you know if some of the people who are staying in these houses were given title deeds? Yes, I know. And even some of them that by filling the title deed, we leba register matlo ao. They are no longer staying in those houses. Immediately, I have to the title deed. Can we leave a register? By register, did you flat it? By the way, by filling the title deed, that them by the register. So why, Rona, South Africans, but why do you South Africa be rich with the title deed? You do it more than twenty years, more to open your tabanch. You balale hanenti kihira, kihira mo ba tumbaba mo to open your na yatabanch, and then. Mm. I was promised I should submit my documents, ID, and then I did that. Yeah. The letter was from Human Settlement in Bloomfontein. Yeah. So I did that. I'm still waiting for that. And then my problem is that why should others get title deeds and then others be excluded? And that's a very important question. I want to therefore say, I'm sure you are aware that there are institutions in this country, for instance, the Human Rights Commission. I'm not too sure if you guys have a lawyer to assist you in this matter. And I'm, I'm saying this on the basis that the letter came from the department. We don't know they possibly would be approaching the court for an order to evict you. How are you going to move forward? Okay. No, uh, point of correction, Tati uh, Mulot. Ne? Actually, there are about uh, three eviction letters, if I'm not mistaken. Ah. Yeah. So, 
uh, if they're approaching the court. We'll see what we can do. We will also approach a uh, human, uh, human rights commission. We'll see we'll access all uh, the resources that are available. Mm -hmm. uh, and what is, what is very painful, especially here in Tabantu, ne? Uh, foreigners are, are given a, a first preference. Mm -hmm. But we, hell, rebel to morale. If Kibata or Kibata something in town, mm -hmm. ne? I have to go all these processes. Mm -hmm. But uh, when the foreigners babata something about tropo, mm. they get it just like a strike of a lightning. All right. Uh, no, we thank you so much for your time. We appreciate. Cindy, obviously we do not have the full context and the full story, but the question here is what should happen when those who are currently in government make commitments and promises on the basis of the authority and the power that they have and later on, those who take over from them decide to not fulfill those particular promises without even explaining to those who are affected as to exactly the reasons. One is going to ask whether if the decision, that is a big if, the decision taken by Ace Mahashule, the former premier, was illegal, why is it difficult for the provincial government that is in charge now to explain to these people to say this is the illegality? But that question will certainly be put to the head of the provincial government department that I'm going to be speaking to a short while later. All right, Muloko Moloto, thank you so much for joining us uh, live from Tabanshu uh, on the plight of uh, residents there who um, are facing imminent eviction and based on promises that the government has now reneged on, they may find themselves homeless. But we will keep an eye on that story.